Hi guys, um, Savannah here. Oh, let me get my, I guess, little notes. <laughs> I need to take better notes um, because I seem to forget a lot of things when I make videos. Um, today is January 28th, uh, 2019. I'm going to do my January update, I suppose, because... If I don't do it this week, I won't remember and, you know, all that fancy stuff. Um, because I always forget. Um, I want to thank everybody that has commented and subscribed to my channel. Um, it does mean a lot to me. Um, I try to respond to every comment or at least like and heart it. Um, if I don't know what to say back. <laughs> um, but I do appreciate it a lot. Um, and keep them coming. Uh, no, <laughs> it's okay. Um, also, I forgot to mention um, Ear Whips and Stitch 9 Challenge and, you know, other things that are going on in the stitching community. I am in Ear of Whips. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them because, honestly, it's all my whips except my two Chatelaines. So you could go back and watch my whip parade. And you could see all my year whips. Just, just you know, know that the two Chatelaines that I do have are not part of it. Because I know that those are not going to get finished. Um, so with year whips, I tried it last year and I failed miserably with it. I'm actually going to try real hard this year. Um, because it works in conjunction with the No Starts 2019 thing that Stitch and Mommy Sarah um decided to do and now i'm not officially doing no starts for 2019 because i know that if i try um i will fail miserably um i'm already actually getting a, an itch i found i found this beautiful pattern like three of them <laughs> on that mybobbin.com website or my bobbins um oh so crafty just did a uh review video on that website. Um, anyways, I saw three patterns on there and one of them is making me want to start. <laughs> so my, um, the way I decided to do the no starts is just no starts for as long as I can possibly go. So in conjunction with Year of Whips, um, I think that, you know, that might help me be a little bit more successful. My goal for Year of Whips is, all right, so I put in, I have I have 20 projects, I think. Um, I know I have on my list, oop, I have, I'm on, I'm on my computer so I can check. It says I have 22 whips. One of them is not considered a, a legit whip for me because it's the one that I just don't care about, but it's my travel piece, you know, in case, okay, back. Um, so what was I saying? It's a whip that I use as a travel piece for when I'm somewhere and I'm super bored so I can just work on that. Um, so And I, I don't ever plan to finish it unless it happens. I don't plan on, you know, displaying it in my home if I ever finish it. So I don't count that as a technical whip, but it's there. Um, and then the two Chatelaines that I'm not. So I guess that is 19? 19, 19 whips. I'm hoping to just drop that down to 10 by the end of the year. Um, if I can draw, knock out five of those whips, I think by the middle of the year, I might... Um, I don't know, how was I thinking of this? The new Chatelaine that just was released, the um, Queen Elizabeth. The Gardens of Queen Elizabeth, I think it's called. Um, I really wanted that one when it was first shown um, right before Martina passed away. I was just waiting and <laughs> hoping I could get that one. And then she passed and I was like, well, there goes that. You know, I didn't think it would ever get released. Um, but her daughter just released it earlier this month and I'm super excited about it. Unfortunately, it is more expensive than all the other Chatelaines that I have on my wish list. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure why it is more expensive. But to me, it would be 50 bucks, and that's it's a little steep. So 
I'm setting a goal for myself to finish, I want to say five, let's say five because that's half of the half. <laughs> if I can finish five whips by the middle of the year, I think I'll get myself that. And that's just for the pattern, that's not even for the fabric and, you know, all the flosses and fancy stuff, you know, because that's a billion dollars right there itself. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so there's that. That's my goal. I don't really have, I'm trying not to set too many big goals. I'm not trying to do any real challenges, you know, like giant challenges other than, I guess, year of whips. Um, just because I know, I know myself. Um, I just, I fail all the time. I, I don't know what it is. It's just, I fail. Sal's, I fail. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to just set little more realistic goals. Um, so for your whips, like my, I think for my, my three full coverage projects, there's Zeus. Oop, that side. <laughs> there's Zeus. Um, for my three full coverage pieces on my Game of Thrones piece, I think I want to get just one page finished. And I do have one page that is like halfway done, a little bit over halfway done, so I'm hoping I can get that done and count that. Um, though I do want to get more pages done in this year for that piece since it's so big. Um, my Hyrule Light World map, I'm hoping just to get that completely finished. I'm not even counting just like one page here or there. I want to get the whole thing finished. And then... My new one, the oldest angel, my hate. Um, just, I think I put one page, maybe two, for your whips. See, I'm just trying to keep it realistic. Um, I really am. I have, I have a lot of old whips that just need to get taken care of. Um, stitch nine. Um, honestly, I don't even remember which ones are stitch nine. Let's see, maybe I have it listed on here. Oh, okay. So my Brooks Books Advent Calendars is a Stitch 9. Uh, quotes to Live By. My Nativity Heirloom. My Heirloom Nativity Sampler. Why did I write that backwards? Uh, my Floral World Map. My Plague Doctor. Royal Holiday. Three Eagles. And No Cause for a Llama. It's my newest start before the before the end of 2018. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What was the ninth one? One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What was the ninth one? Oh, um, that's right. I don't have it on here just yet. It is my um farmhouse Christmas. <laughs> I don't have it on there because I'm going to put it on there as soon as I like start the next one in the series. I will put it on my whip list, but currently it's not there. Uh, so that is those. Um, I'm not going to show them here either. Um, they're on my Instagram. <laughs> Troy. They're on my Instagram and yeah, just my Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I just don't want to pull everything out and show them again. Oh, uh, Troy. He uh. sees himself. Um, okay, so I'll show you what I've worked on this month. <sighs> Excuse me. I guess because didn't I do a middle of the month? I think I did a middle of the month video. So I'll show you what I have done. Um, I'll just go little, the biggest, I guess. The other day I decided to pick up my... Brooks Books Advent Animals, um, because this is my oldest whip. I started it. When did I start this? November 1st, 2015. Yeah. And I was, you know, um, at that time, I was knocking them out a whole heck of a ton. Hey, Troy, please don't. Sorry, he's he likes to bug my cats. Oh, and. Right. Stop, honey. No, honey. Um, anyways, 
that I got burnt out. And so I've only been working on like one or two a year since then. Um, I'm on number eight, or I just finished 18. So it took me three days to do ooh, Remy Rabbit. Um, and that is where it is. I accidentally, ooh, this is backwards to me, so it's confusing. I put this 18 up here on accident. So I had to rip that all out and redo it. But thankfully, it didn't take very long. Um, yeah, my son. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I could probably hold it this way and block some of that. But that's this is awkward for me to hold it on this side for some reason. Um, I do have the other two there. Um, yeah, I would really like to just get this. Like, I don't even know if I like these anymore. I mean, I started in 2015 when my tastes and my... I was a brand new stitcher, practically. So everything was different. This is on 18 Count Ada that I, I think... These were all scrap pieces I had in my stash. Um, and I hand dyed them all blue so that they would match. Uh, yeah, I guess, do you want to see them? I'm going to go through them. That's number five. Let's see, here's number one. I don't remember all their names, so I can't tell you them. Here's a key at number one. <laughs> Two. Three. See, just a bunch of scrap fabric. Was that four? Let's see, here's five. Oh, see, I'm so sorry. Troy, honey, can you go in the living room, please? Here's six and seven. I did change her fringe to actually be like a legit fringe instead of just back stitching it on. And I can't remember if these were charted, these lazy daisies, or if I did that. I can't remember that part. And then the penguin, if you saw, number seven. Let's see, here was this? Okay. Eight. What? Troy, enough, please. Nine. Ten. And eleven. Whoa, guys. Whoa. This is, it's right there. The camera is right there. Twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Oh, you got your coin? And then these ones, 16, 17, and 18. Oops. Ouch. As you can see, I didn't do the border on these three. Um, and I'm debating if I should my border as you can see, the little red white border. I'm debating if I should, uh, you know what, I'll probably just leave it on because I have more of it with it on than I do, <laughs> than I do have with it off, even if I finish the rest of them. Um, so it'd be easier just to add it, I guess. But I was debating on taking it off just because, but no, I think it'll be easier to just add it to that. <laughs> Anyway, so there was that. I just, it's more of a burden than it is a joy, which kind of sucks. I'm, I'm so far into it. I shouldn't stop. Um, I do want to get them stitched up for my children. So there's that. And then I did work. I don't know where I was when I showed this last time. I really don't. Um, but this is Quotes to Live By from Stitchrovia. It is a sal that I fell way off track with. Um, I'm stitching mine on this is ooh, this way, this way. <laughs> 22 count, 22 count Ada or Hardanger or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm stitching it one over one. Um, so when I picked this up, this, when did I, I'll check my tracker. 
So I picked it up this month. Um, I finished this block, finished this block, and then I'm that's where I currently am on this block. Let's see if I can get this stuff out of the way. Yeah, there we go. So let me get this. This is really awkward when the camera's backwards. Um, so yeah, I really don't have that much left. I mean, just those two on that side. And then finishing up this. I'm debating on the border that goes around the entire thing. Um, I'm, I'm really debating on that. I don't know yet. So I'm kind of just trying to stitch it as best as I can without the border. Even though the pattern you know, shows the bits in it. Um, let me put that over there. So I'm I'm working on, you know, just to see how it'll look without the border first, and then we'll see when it gets, you know, when I get back up to here finishing that. What? Yep. Should I zoom in so you guys can see the one over one action? Let me get this folded up so I can. So I'll just one over one. Looks so dainty. I like making things smaller than what they really are. It's just what I enjoy. Enjoy, honey. Shh. All right, and last but not least is my that fell apart. My three eagles. Where's the paper? There's a black and white copy. Sorry, but he will look like this. Um, I am doing mine on, it's 28 count, a uh, 28 count even weave. I can't remember exactly what kind. Uh, he is very con heavy, confetti heavy. But here is the progress I've made so far. Ooh, I should probably put something behind that. Huh? There's where I am. So, ooh, this side. So all this is actually stitched. There, maybe you can see a little bit better. Yeah, do you see that? A lot of this, uh, oh, sorry, again. Um, 3371. It's the darkest color other than black in this, um, but you don't stitch the black parts uh, if you're doing it on black fabric. If you were doing it, if you're doing it on white or any other color, you'd stitch in the black pieces, like this big chunk right here is um, I'm trying to get this back to where it was with the lighting. This section will not be stitched because it's all black and then there's a big chunk down in here that's black that you don't stitch. Um, sorry. I'm trying to get the lighting to work. Um, it is snowing here in Colorado so lighting's not perfect. Let's get back to where we were. So yeah, I'm doing mostly the, the biggest chunks, as you can see, and then I'll go back and fill in the uh, confetti bits. There's a lot of confetti around his eyes, his lips, right down here in that crease, your smile line. Um, what else? Oh, this is really bad lighting. Um, and then his hair, oh, his hair is a lot of... Um, it's a lot of 3371, but it's not solid. It's a lot of like just little lines here and a little lines there. Um, I was hoping to have like all of his skin finished, or you know, minus the conf these little confetti bits that I have um, by the end of this month, so that I, because I don't really know how, um, like Jessie Marie, she. When she does a big mirror, she would be like, okay, this is my goal for this month. This is my goal for this month. I can't see <laughs> how well of a I'm doing, you know. Can I have this finished by the end of March? Like, I don't know where my status is. Like, he's got a big shirt. He's got a shirt and... You can't see in the black and white picture. Maybe I'll insert a colored photo if I can figure out how to do it. Yeah. 
Anyways, I'm still chugging along. Some days I'm just not. I'm trying to get it some good lighting. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. And I need to stop moving, right? Um, I am chugging along. I, I do feel the burnout a bit, um, but I just can't. I can't stop or else I don't know when I would pick it back up. I'm pretty sure I said that last time too, huh? But I love him. <laughs> I love looking at this from a distance. And then when I take pictures, I look, I like to see it as the little thumbnail, not like full screen. It just, it looks awesome. There. So that's it. Um, This is it for me. Oh, let me, uh, let me get me, uh, my, um, what is it called? My diamond painting. I'll show you my progress on my diamond painting. Okay. So here it is. Oop. So you can see that side. Um, it's the Deathly Hollows. I'm almost halfway done. It's a 60 by 60. Um, this has incredibly terrible popping drills issues. Um, so I'm kind of sealing as I'm going. So this, these, I don't know how to hold this up. Like, okay, so these top two rows have already been sealed with Mod Podge. I am waiting until I finish all the way to the end before I seal this next. It needs it bad because it, I need to be careful or else it'll pop up. But as you can see, if you are concerned about Mod Podge and sealing it and it taking away, you can see it still shines just the same as... Making the pie, making the pie. Yeah, you can see it still shines. Even with the Mod Podge. I use, I just use regular gloss Mod Podge. Um, this one's on the verge of dying. Um, so what I did was, here, I'll sit down. Oh, what I did with this one, since this one's on the the, you know, like it's almost drying out. It's kind of chunkier. Um, I actually just added water to it. But normally if you have a, like a fresh can of this stuff, ugh, got it all in my hands. If you had a fresh can, like I did buy a fresh one, um, I'd get a separate cup that I'm okay with getting Mod Podge in. And I would add a little bit of water. And then I take my brush, dip it in this, wipe off some excess, dip it in the water a bit, and then brush it on my painting. And uh, let that let that you know dry, and you know I would add more water before I add more Mod Podge, just to kind of like thin it out even more, spread it more. Sorry, it was getting too loud. Um, you know, spread it out more before I add more Mod Podge, and it seals it. It works just fine, um, no problems, and it keeps the shine. I don't have any issues with dullness. Even if it did dull it, I, I don't think I would care too much. <laughs> I'm not... What's the word? I'm not into this. I mean, I like sparkle, sure. But I'm not that crazy about it, as in I need it to still shine. That's not the... The point of it to me is the image, not the shine, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, other than that, this is a long video. I need to stop rambling. Um, and I will see you guys at the end of next month.